Well, good evening and welcome to Manchester Basketball Centre here in Wally Range for tonight's National League D2 clash between the Manchester Magic and the Derbyshire Arrows. I'm Ads from Brom161. I'm joined as always by Kaz from Focus Hoops. We've done one of our special double header days. Just headed over from Bellevue. Great victory for the Mystics today, Kaz. Oh, yeah, fantastic game. Fantastic performance all round. Eric Williams just going off like Eric Williams does. Um, real, real team basketball performance from the Mystics. And good to be over here for our second game of the day. Second game of the day, indeed. And uh, Magic looking to continue their mission back into Division 1 of the National League. Seems to the bench, and we're going to be bringing you all the action from Wally Range tonight. We've got some starting lineups for you this week. Coach Pete Paraskeva is going to go with Ben Brown, Farrow Gordon, Mo Shergo, Andre Gale, and Terrell Brown, and for Derbyshire. Joseph Bow, Xavier McIntosh, George Brownell, Sadell Hansen Young, and Matt Wilson. Referees just having a final word with the table. We're about ready to get this one underway. So we just pause there for a 24 second silence to show that the British basketball community supports the Ukrainians who are having such a terrible time at the moment. And this game is underway. Tyrell Brown brings the ball up. Ben Brown came screaming around the top there. He has it stripped away. And the arrows get first blood by the looks of it. Nice laying. Didn't go down. Ben Brown came up with it. Gives it over to Farrow Gordon. He passes out to a wide open Terrell Brown. Three's no good. Beautiful outlet pass there from Derbyshire. Spin move. In off the glass. So, Xavier McIntosh opens the scoring for Derbyshire Arrows with a nice move there. Terrell Brown threads the needle into Ben Brown. Easy two. And Xavier's going to be a player that the Magic really need to watch today. Leading the arrows in points per game. Had a big game last weekend. He's going to be a, a tough matchup today. Yeah, certainly showing his athletic skills off there. 
Well, again, the volleyball going on in the magic half, but Terrell comes up with it, gives it out to Farrow. Andre Gale, nice perimeter basketball. Ben Brown, three goes up, doesn't fall. McIntosh lets it go. It's going to be a Derbyshire inbound. So, Hanson Young, Terrell Brown right up in his face, gives it off. Joseph Bohr, he has it, has it right back to Hanson Young, looking to make something happen. Shot doesn't drop. Andre Gale on the attack from the Magic, gives it off to Farrell Gordon. Back out to Terrell, he likes that spot tonight. Three doesn't go. Tosh is waiting for it, he puts up the shot, doesn't go, good rebound, in off the glass. Another easy two there, Joseph Bob with the, uh, with the lay in there off the glass. 6-2 Derbyshire, no share go. Terrell looking to go inside, doesn't go. Farrah Gordon steps back to the three, puts one up, no good. Last off Magic. It's going to be a Derbyshire ball. Hanson Young, Terrell Brown studies the ball, almost gets the steal there. Screen comes in, finds a way through the middle. Nice pass under the basket, reverse layup coming in. And I'll tell you what, Derbyshire Arrows mean business tonight. Put some 8 2 up, Kaz. Yeah, it's a quick, out to a quick lead. Hanson Young as well, ninth in the NBL in assists this season, nine a game, and he's you can see why he's on that possession. Yeah, beautiful dish off there for sure. Ben Brown gives it off to Mo Shergo. Easy bucket. Derbyshire back in transition. Nice strong move inside. Nice drive there from George Brownell. Shot didn't drop, but he will go to the line to shoot two. Hanson Young's on 4.5, not nine, sorry. He had nine last game. Ah. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be very impressive. <laughs> Wouldn't it? First shot's good. Second shot's good. Magic ball. I imagine they'll come out with the uh, usual intense defence that they've been coming out with of late. Yeah, we're used to seeing the Magic start strong, aren't we? You know, maybe not offensively, but they, that defence is always there to start with. They don't build up to it. They just come out strong. Um, both teams playing, you know, played for the first time since last weekend. Um, so, you know, Magic need to come out keep the pressure on, keep that pressure defence that they're known for on. They did so well in that last game that we saw here. Well, they're becoming a pretty terrifying prospect for any team coming into this building or even on their own floor with the defence they're playing right now. Nice pass inside there. Matt Wilson. And that double team that you just saw there on Xavier, that's what they're going to want to do today to put Xavier off. Um, it's going to leave someone else open, but they need to, to drop and help back on that. Andre looks to go inside, he hangs, lets it go. No good, McIntosh up with the rebound. Nice outlet pass there. Joseph Bow, McIntosh puts up the three, it's no good. Oh, nice movement under the basket there. Some nice passing there between uh, Matt Wilson and Joseph Bow. And uh, Pete Paraskeva doesn't like what he's seen so far and he calls the timeout. Wants to talk it over with his guys. Score currently 12 to Derbyshire Arrows, 5 to the Magic. We've got the Arrows, they're sitting in fourth place at the moment in league. 
nine and eight magic obviously top of the table 16 and two but as we've seen time and time again this is such a tough league yeah. like the, sometimes the standings almost don't mean anything yeah. do they when uh, obviously you know in the long run they do but like any team on any day can, can beat any any team yeah it's certainly a competitive league and only the top team actually goes up into d1 at the end of the season so magic some important games coming up for them yeah they're not going to want to drop any more down this stretch you know when keep out keep strong they've got a game this week um, and just two or three more left on the schedule yeah we, we should look and see how many points they need to, to, to clinch that one certainly speaking to the guys after games and firmly planted in their minds they went back into d1 and with a squad like this it's where they should be if they can uh, pick up a couple of w's so back on the floor terrell brown he goes inside on his own looks for an option finds andre at the top dre bounces inside doesn't go mo share go nearly get the rebound but here's that guy mcintosh Oh, sets the screen. Oh, he gets himself into a little bit of trouble there. Ben Brown strips the ball. Nice pass after Mel Shergo hang. Drops it in the bucket. I think that's quite quickly becoming a, a, a typical Mel Shergo move there. That little yeah. floater drop in. Yeah. Derbyshire patiently passing the ball around. They get the ball inside. Hook shot. Good. 14-7, Derbyshire, five minutes left in the first. Terrell Brown. Dishes a few orders out, Ben Brown. He's waiting for an option. He's gonna have to do something soon. Five left on the clock, Farrow hangs. Easy bucket. Nice outlet pass all the way down the court there. McIntosh has it at the top of the three-point line. Nice cross all the way across court to Bow. Turn around, jump shot doesn't go for Derbyshire. Oh, stolen by Joseph Bow for the easy lay-in. Well, a little bit clumsy from the Magic so far. Coach Paraskeva looking to bring in time. Regent Baskin. Substitution also coming in for Derbyshire. Aaron Lee Greenfield will come into the ball game. Xavier McIntosh will take a breather. I imagine they want to conserve some of his energy for later in the game. Ben Brown spots up. Shot doesn't drop. Rebound bow. to get the ball inside but came off the leg of time Baskin it's time Regent Baskin it be a Derbyshire ball from the baseline bow oh, strips away from Andre Gale who knew Farrow was all the way up the court Farrow's going to go in yeah 16-11 Derbyshire magic clawing away way back into this one Joseph Bow looks for the screen, gets it, goes baseline. Easy hook shot. Lee Greenfield on the scoreline. Another nice pass from Andre. Doesn't quite make it into the hands of Farrell Gordon. Here comes Derbyshire again, McKenzie. Gordon passes out to Andre, jacks up a three. Andre Gale's first three of the game. Makes it 18-13. Xavier McIntosh steps up to the table. Looks like he's going to come back into the game soon. Meanwhile on the floor. Callum McKenzie gets the screen. Hanson Young 
Dances inside, pulls up. Oh, block by Terrell Brown. Andre Gale. Here he goes. What's it going to be? Easy laying. We usually get a Dre dunk, don't we? Yeah. I'm sure Dre's got something for us. Nice shot from George Brown now. Derby should just get, get able to get the shot off really quickly, making it hard for the Magic to close them down when they're just like shooting it as soon as they catch. Yeah, and they're playing some good defence too. Terrell Brown goes baseline, finds Ben Brown, puts up a three. That's no good. And there's that. This seems to be a, a, a... That's the third time they've done that exact move there, the long outlet pass, but this time it's intercepted. Farrah Gordon puts up a three. It's no good. Last off the arrows. That's going to be a Magic ball. Xavier McIntosh back into the ball game. So Dale Hansen Young takes a breather. Gefeld's come into the game for the Magic. Andre Gale hands it off to Ben Brown. Here, you shoot. Ben Brown shows the moves, spots up. This one doesn't go. Farrow with the rebound, though. Just to reset things. Ben Brown, nice bounce pass into time. Is it going to drop? Yep. 21 17, Derbyshire. Minute 15 left in the first. Here's that tight defence from the Magic. Andre Gale not taking his eye off that ball. Three pointer coming in. Doesn't go. Caffell comes up with the rebound. He feeds Andre. Easy lay in. Timeout called this time by Derbyshire. Their coach has seen enough. Magic clawed the way back into this one and we got a two point ball game. 21 19, just under a minute left in the first. It's almost like Magic kind of went, hey. We're top of the table. <laughs> <laughs> they just remembered. Yeah, just remembered. Just going on a nice little run there as well and doing the things that works really well, you know, getting the, the outlet pass to, to Andre Gale when he's on the break. Um, and the, this is a team that plays in transition a lot, isn't it? We see it with the Magic. They, they're able to get that steal and get those players that get out on the break. Um, it's working really well. Um, both teams as well played about a month ago. Um, Manchester took that with a 28-point win. Um, so... Derbyshire obviously when you've played someone and they've beaten you by quite a big margin you want to come back you want to make a point um, so a lot to play for today yeah definitely but now you're right in what you say there's so much speed on that magic roster you've really got to look at the guys on the floor I mean fell all at Ward lightning quick as is Terrell Brown Andre will get up the court quick as anybody that long stride Teams back on the floor. We've got 57.8 left in the first. And it's going to be a Derbyshire inbound. Lee Greenfield hands it into McIntosh. Ben Brown's all over him. Nice hustle from Ben Brown. Andre Gale goes left, goes right. Looks for the open man, finds Ben Brown. Nice patient passing from the Magic. Time goes inside. Gets his own rebound and loses it. McIntosh. Caffell's there to tidy up. Andre spots up for three. No good. And it looked like Caffell went flying into uh, McIntosh for that rebound. Looks like it's going to be a magic ball inbound now. So Caffell finds Ferro. Wants it right back. Look how quickly he takes off. Oh, he's going in for the layup there. Someone's just got a hand on it. I think it was Caffell. is from a, from a dead spot. Caffell will just spring straight into action. He misses out first, second, third, and fourth. Straight into <laughs> fifth gear. That was a great move to get to the basket as well. The way he just wound around yeah. everyone. He'll shoot two. First one's good. Just to tie it up, just at the end of the first. Felt all at wall, hits the second. So, one possession left in the quarter. Oh, but it's intercepted, turnover. 
Kefel comes in, hangs, doesn't get it. Time gets the rebound, bounce pass into Andre. Andre patiently waited there before he went up for the shot. Manages to draw the foul. He goes to the line to shoot one. says thank you very much I'll take the three point play puts Magic 24-21 up six seconds left Darby should get something off before the horn McIntosh pulls up for three hits the back iron and that'll do it for the first quarter so 24-21 Magic after going down by nine or ten points he managed to pull the way back into this one yeah, a really good turnaround from the Magic as well. Like you say, down 10 points early on, um, able to turn it back, finish the first quarter with a three-point uh, lead. I think they're going to be really pleased with what they've done. Obviously not too thrilled with how they started, but the sign of a great team is how you're able to start not yeah. well, but turn it around exactly. and not let it bother you. Yeah. And as we've said constantly when we've been watching these guys, you know, they, they just need to play how they play because it works. That's, there's a reason they're top of the league. There's a reason they've lost two games this season. Um, and it's that teamwork, that play together, the, the transition play and getting the players in the right spots and that lockdown defence that they're just so good at. Absolutely, yeah. This is definitely a group of guys that have really found their style this season. So leading away for the Magic. Andre Girl has nine points. And for the Arrows. Brownell George. I beg your pardon, George Brownell. <laughs> has seven points. So teams back on the floor for the second quarter. Magic lead this one 24 to 21. And we're back under the way, ball in the hands of Kefel, all at war. Trevor Samuels coming to the ball game. Farrell Gordon finds Kefel. Oh, Kefel hangs, gets, somehow gets the ball back out to Farrell. Shot doesn't drop. McIntosh came up with it. Doesn't drop for the arrows. Farrow Gordon gives it off to Trevor. Doesn't quite go. Going to be a Derbyshire ball. Joseph Bowell inbound. George Brownell. He goes baseline, hangs, gets his own rebound, kicks it back out. Three point, no good. Farrell comes up with the rebound. He's straight off down the court. Finds time waiting for it, kicks out. Ben Brown with the three. Yes. Just to go inside. Looks like he may put a foot out of play there. Ingus Bankovic saw so something he didn't like. Ball back in the hands of the Magic. Gefell puts up a three. It's good. As if we hadn't had enough of three point shooting today. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a three point shootout over at Bellevue today. Oh, Derbyshire looking to make something happen. Baseline, nice kick out there. Shot doesn't go. Uh, big guy, Matt Wilson, comes up with the rebound. Mackenzie goes inside. 
Shot doesn't drop, but he'll go to the line and shoot two. Foul, I believe, he's called on Farrell Gordon. His first of the game. So Dale Hansen Young coming back into the ball game for Derbyshire. Kenzie doesn't make the second. Trevor Samuel came up with the rebound. Dishes off to Farrell Gordon. Ben Brown was one in it over the but time. Comes up with it somehow. Nice transition play here from Derbyshire. And there on the left hand from McIntosh. 30-24, Magic. Caffell. Trevor tries a three, and it's good. Well, looks like we could be in for another three-point haul over here, Kaz. I'm all for it. Hey, I'm wearing a Steph Curry t-shirt. <laughs> Sash goes inside, he hangs, doesn't go. Trevor comes up with the rebound. Runs into Matt Wilson, but gets out of it okay. Farrow Gordon. And Callum McKenzie got the hand on it there. Double substitution coming in for Derbyshire. First appearance on the night for Cherno Kamara. And also into the game for the Magic. Martin Malik. He gets a touch of the ball straight away, runs into traffic. Farrell Gordon steps back for three. Goes in. Um, I'm liking seeing Martin in the game so early as well. We saw him coming in the fourth quarter of the last couple of games. I'm liking him getting some, some early minutes because he made such an impact uh, when he was on the court. Well, I mean, he's been a real workhorse. He's, he's come in and done exactly what Pete Paraskeev has asked of him. So he's coming into the game a bit earlier, which, as you say, is great. Hard-working player, this young man. Great to see him playing in the senior team. Flora came in, but doesn't go. Tried tipping it in. No, Farrow comes up with the rebound. Trevor Samuel, he goes left and right. Into traffic, kicks it off to time, he pulls up. Shot doesn't drop. Derbyshire ball. McIntosh waiting for it. He had the look for the three, but didn't take it. Nice fake and drive there. No good, Trevor comes up with it. Malik brings the ball up court. Looks to slow things down and reset. Oh, time posts up, kicks it out. Malik for three, no good. It's like there may have been a foul off the ball there. So Derby should make a substitution. Aaron Lee Greenfield back in the ball game. So it's going to be a magic ball from the baseline. Farrell Gordon. Bit of a miscommunication between him and Trevor Samuel. Turn it over, Derbyshire ball. They're going to slow things down slightly, but that's in Mallet. Picks his man up straight. On the second. So Matt and Malik bringing the ball up for the Magic. He's looking for the screen from time, gets it, he goes between the legs. Nice spin move. Oh, he turns again. One of those shots that deserved to go in. He did all the hard work there, Kaz. Oh, yeah, that was just so unlucky. Great footwork, great movement. Just couldn't, couldn't quite finish it. Bounced down. Xavier hangs. Doesn't go. Caffell comes up with the ball. <laughs> Runs into a clothesline type move there from Sadeo Hansen Young. Put his hand straight up saying, yeah, I got him. Good 
NFL will inbound to Malik. Malik calls the play. Finds Farrell Gordon. Farrell Gordon showing the moves. Oh, nice push off there. Trevor Samuel hangs. Well, Trevor kind of went up for the shot there. He looked like he was going in for some sort of monster dunk there, Kaz. Changed his mind. But he managed to draw the foul. He's going to go to the line and shoot too. Trevor Samuel again. Much in the same way as Matty Malik has uh, been a great role player for the Magic this season. Comes in, gets his hands dirty on defense. Then explosive on the offense too. He makes the first. The good thing with the Magic is that the bench is so deep as well. Like you said, they've got guys that can just come off the bench, play their role. You know, they might only be playing a few minutes, but they know what they've got to do and they do it really well. Magic without Bailey Goodall this week. Yeah, the, uh, the defensive pest. The resident pest. So, Derbyshire. Ball back with the magic. Cafell controls the ball. Gets the ball into time. Malik. Trevor Samuel. Ah, oh, shot. Pass intercepted again. Here goes McIntosh. Well. Xavier McIntosh was certainly on a breakaway there. I don't think Trevor Samuel had much option other than to commit the foul. Otherwise, we could have seen some showtime dunks going down. I, th I thought that's what we were going to get. So... Trevor Samuel uses up his first foul. McIntosh in the line. Alex Lycoudis enters the ball game for Derbyshire. Thirty-seven twenty-nine. Magic. Cafell with the ball. That's a mallet. Is it back off to Samuel? Hand off to Farrow Gordon. Cafell screaming for it out on the right, but Farrow decides he's going to go for the shot. No good. Big rebound from Matin Malik. Trevor Samuel resets. Goes inside. There's the explosion. Nice basket. Thirty-nine, twenty-nine, ten point. Just kind of toying with Trevor Samuel there, saying, "Do you want the three? No, he gives it up though. Oh, nice bucket. Nothing but net there. So Dale Hansen Young drops the three. But here comes Farrow Gordon. Matty Mallet thought about the three, decided no, gives it back to Farrow. Yeah, Cafell in a lot of space over there on that right wing. He gets the ball eventually. Oh, nice turn and fade away from Cafell. Doesn't go. Who's there? Time, of course he is. Oh, basket fell eventually. You need somebody in the paint to tidy up. Time's your man. A timeout called this time for Derbyshire. We have a scoreline of 43-32 to the Magic. 2.40 left in the first half. Magic doing a really good job, like we say, coming out really strong in the second quarter. They've turned it around after the first quarter. 11-point uh, lead, you know, this is exactly what they'll have wanted to do. Yeah, they're going to want to go in the half comfortable. Yeah. Just a note, if anyone's having issues with the, the stream, we have got um, a bit of a, an issue with the internet connection here. We'll upload the game straight afterwards, so we'll have the full game to watch. It's been recorded as well. The internet fairy's not on our side again. We do apologise for that. So, 2.40 left in the half. I think Time Regent Baskin's forgotten that he had a, uh, had a bonus shot, did he not? Yeah, time will go to the line, shoot the bonus. Go 
comes in eventually. Lee Greenfield. So after Hanson Young. Just took the ball back inside to Greenfield, but he didn't, didn't quite make it, but he draws the foul. He'll go up the line to shoot two. Good. Substitution for the Magic. Andre Gale comes back into the game. Time Regent Baskin gets a breather. And Matty Malik in bounds gets the ball right back from Trevor Samuel. Andre back in the ball game. Farrell Gordon at the top of the three-point line. Dishes off to Matty Malik, who skips inside. Gets the pass out to Trevor Samuel, puts up a three. It's good. Well, Magic shooting well from outside the arc today. Intense defence coming. Oh, beautiful shot. Stel Hansen Young has the hot hand for Derbyshire Arrows. Matty Malik carries the ball up. Magic kind of missing the trick with the. Uh, if you look how wide out Cafell's kind of there, just waiting for the ball to come his way. Farrell Gordon makes the two. Sadell Hansen Young puts from the screen and gets it. He pulls up for three. But Andre comes up with it, gives it to Martin. Trevor Samuel decides he's going to go inside. Shot doesn't fall. There's that long outlet pass again. Oh, nice moving. Alex Lycoudis. And just draw the contact. He'll go to the line to shoot one. Ten point ball game. 49-39, Magic. Martin Malik. Comes out of the game, has a chat with Pete Paraskeva about the last play. And back in the ball game, Terrell Brown. Referees having a quick chat. Oh, it looks like we have a technical foul here. Quite sure why, but Xavier so McIntosh at the line shoots a bonus, he hits it. He makes both. Paraskeva looks as confused as I am about what happened there. <laughs> He's so, a minute left in the half. McIntosh. Hanson Young. He shows some moves, pulls up for three. Goes down. So, Hanson Young having himself a ball game today. Fell goes inside, gives it off to Farrell Gordon, to Rel Brown. That's again Cafell. There's a lot of space on his own out there on that wing. And some young find McIntosh. Looks to go one on one with Dre, pulls back. I think Dre might have got a piece of that one. Uh oh. And Trey hangs. 
pauses and the shot goes down 51-44 magic three seconds is there enough time to get this one off oh it doesn't go well Sadal Hansen Young certainly had the hot hand for the Derbyshire Arrows in the first half really came up with a buzzer beater there so half time 51-44 to Manchester Magic we're going to take a short break but we'll be right back with you with some first half stats and of course the second quarter from here at the Manchester Basketball Centre Wally Range we'll be right back with you Well, Pat, this was always going to be a bit of an emotional day for you. Both Whelan's in a final. How's it been this week, first of all? Yeah, man, it's been a, it's been a heavy week, a lot of media, um, a lot of build-up. But uh, You are superstars now, yeah, man. Yeah, I know, something like that. But, um, but no, I'm honestly just happy, you know, the week's over and, and we came out with the win. That's yeah. it. That's all it's all Definitely. It is. Well, we, we counted up during the game there. There's actually six guys that are out of the Manchester Magic Academy playing in this nice. game today over both teams. It, it just It's just such an amazing thing to see guys from the academy come through and play in these finals. And, of course, you've been 
touring overseas. How's it feel sort of being back in the country and sort of repping Manchester, a bit of Warrington, repping the magic, but a rider? No, I'm definitely repping the magic. Um, you know, it feels it feels great, you know, just to be able to go back home every now and again, to be able to, you know, go back home, support the magic and, and you know, go to watch my brother play, to play against my brother. It's, honestly, it's a blessing. So, um, so yeah, really, really, really happy I made that decision. Yeah, I saw your dad earlier on and I just looked at him and he was like, I'm supporting the Leicester Giants and the Manchester <laughs> Riders today. Obviously, your dad a legend, the Wheeling family legends of the Manchester yeah. Magic. So, I just want to say congratulations to you, man. Thank it's you great seeing you in the BBL as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I saw you, you were at the Magic a few weeks ago. I was. I yeah, was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, great yeah. seeing you guys there. You're going to get down for a few more games? Yeah, hoping to get um, I know Farrow plays for him now, and that's one of my best friends. You know, always grew up there, always. You know, got love for the program, so yeah, yeah, definitely be back there. And one last one, what do you think about the game tonight? It was um, Giants looked like they were in it in the first quarter, and then the yeah. second it kind of fell off a bit. But you always kind of looked in control. Does that sound about right? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it's been going recently. Um, we 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 tend to start a bit slower, but once we pick up, I think we're very very hard to stop. So um, so once we had that lead, I think you know we did well about managing the game and um, and yeah, came yeah. in the end, played. Well. So it's enjoy this for the weekend and back yes. to the league. That's yes. the big focus next. London next week, big game. Big game. Uh, yeah, definitely we're not taking too much time off. So yeah. Yeah. Pat, congratulations. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man. It, man. Thank yeah. you.
So, welcome back. Second half action here from the Manchester Basketball Centre Wally Range, where the Manchester Magic are up 51 44. First bucket of the half goes to the Arrows who fought their way back into this one. Also a four point game. No share goal is in the ball game. Passes off to Farrell, back up to Terrell Brown. Terrell looks to go inside, pulls up. Bucket's good. Ball in the hands of Sadell Hansen Young. He had a big first half of 15 points. He adds to his total there. And he's still on a four point game. Oh, Farrell Gordon was tearing into the lane there. Andre tried to send him up for the alley oop, but it was no good. He turns and takes the three. No good. Yeah, Mo Shergo. There, there by Sadell Hansen Young. Both went up for the rebound. He just gave Mo a shove. He knew it. He's laughing. Sometimes you get away with them, sometimes you don't. Magic ball baseline with Farrell Gordon. Puts it out to Terrell Brown. Ben Brown back in the game. Looks like the ball may have gone out of bound there, so there's a turnover for the Magic. Back in the hands of the Arrows. He will bring the ball up. Joseph Ball. Hanson Young waits for the screen, gets it, passes it out. Back inside to McIntosh. He was greeted by Andre Gale, who commits the foul. That will send McIntosh to the line to shoot two. This one's good. Second finds it wet, finds its way in. And we have a two point ball game. Ben Brown thought about the three, changed his mind. He's after Farrow is waiting for it. Goes baseline. Kind of loses his feet there. He's okay though. Back on his feet. Joseph Bow comes and apologises in case it was him that inadvertently tripped Farrow. And tonight on mopping duty we have Coach Ads. Gets a round of applause from the bench. <laughs> he looks pleased with himself. Good job, Ads. On the floor, Terrell Brown gives it to Farrell. Farrell Gordon steps back, gives it out to Ben Brown. Over to Terrell. Kicks out to Dre. Puts up a three. Doesn't go. Andre gets it right back. Gets his own rebound. Easy bucket for Andre Gale. 55-51, Magic. Well, Ben Brown got the hand in there. Terrell Brown came up with it. Farrell goes up. Easy bucket. So, Magic are going to want to try and edge this lead out again, Kaz. Derbyshire uh, still very much in it. Yeah, Derbyshire have done a really jo good job getting back into it. You know, 10 point lead in the first quarter, down 10 in the second, coming back within four. Six points at the moment, but yeah, they're going to want to keep up the intensity. That's definitely Mo Shergo. 
Took his time with that layup. Davisher already, already surpassing the, the total from the last time these two teams played together. So, you know, they're, they're going to be pleased that they've improved on their performance in last time. Obviously, you know, we want to come out with the win. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a, a much improved performance from Derbyshire against the Magic this time. Yeah, it looks like they scouted them pretty well before this game. Terrell Brown tries to find Mo Shergo. It's intercepted by Derbyshire. George Brownell gives it off to Xavier. Still got it. Goes back to the three-point line to wind up again. Oh! <laughs> Joseph Bow from the desert. He was way behind the top of the three-point line. Ben Brown pulls up. Shot doesn't drop. 59-54, Magic. It's Dale Hansen-Young. Sets the tempo for the arrows. Bows it stripped away by Terrell Brown. Or a good and skipping down this uh, sideline here. Terrell looks to go inside. Oh, nice dish off there to Mo. Doesn't go. Andre Gale gets the rebound. Goes up. Another rebound for Andre. He's looking for the foul. Doesn't get it. Ben Brown dishes off. Terrell Brown's wide open if he wants it. No, Andre shoots baseline. Doesn't go. Darby should come up with it. Hanson Young carries the ball up. There's going to be a double substitution here for Derbyshire. Andre Gale comes up with the rebound. Terrell Brown. Carries the ball up court. Is he going to go down the middle? No. Yes, he goes back inside behind the back. Looks for Mo Shergo is hovering around the baseline. Terrell Brown gives it off to Farrow's wide open for three. Doesn't go. Does it? Yes, it does go. 62-54, Magic. And Terrell Brown in... Uh, Getting into all sorts of trouble there with uh, with Matt Wilson. A little, bit, a little bit of a mismatch there. Yeah, slight mismatch in size there. Terrell did well to persevere though. Wilson will take a seat into the ball game for Derbyshire. Cherno Kamara. Colin McKenzie. Hanson Young gets to kick it out, doesn't go. Farrow Gordon, Terrell will drive, hangs. No, it doesn't go. Rebound from Camara. McIntosh is waiting for it. Xavier goes under the basket, reverses, finds the underside of the backboard. Oh, some tough defence from the Magic there. Andre comes up with it, drives inside, hangs. He managed to draw the contact, he'll shoot two. Joseph Powell doesn't really agree, tells the referee as much. Score is 62-54 to the Magic. Just want to give a, a big thank you to Janet on the camera today. Uh, regular camera woman Rem has decided to go see Batman. Batman. <laughs> well, sometimes when Batman calls, you got to go to him. Another Batman film. Seems like all they do is... It's like every time you look at the cinema listings, there's a new Batman movie or a Spider-Man movie. Just, just knock them Just out, stop, them out. Yeah, yeah. Derbyshire are back on the floor. Pete Paraskeev has a few more words for his guys. And it'll be Andre Gale shooting two.
Oh, Andre Gale misses both free throws there. Not like him at all. So Arrow's back on the attack. Nice move inside. Doesn't go. What well, hands going for it. Cafell manages to come up with the save. Terrell Brown bursts down the court. Andre Gale wanted it. Andre gets it. Cafell thought about the three. No, goes inside. That's nice bucket from Cafell. Stretches out to a 10 point lead for the Magic. Sure, Derbyshire are going to have something to say about that, though. Foul's called on Andre Gale. That'll be his second of the game. Substitution coming in for Derbyshire. Xavier will get a breather. Into the ball game, George Brownell. Oh, baseline ball, sorry. Another deep three from Derbyshire and it falls. George Brownell gets the ball straight away. Drops the huge three there. Harold Gordon didn't have an option, gives it off to Terrell Brown. Farrell gets it back, puts up a three. Doesn't go. Hanson Young brings the ball back up, goes behind the back, nice move inside, handoff. Oh, nice, nice basket there. Cherno Kamara laid the ball in off the glass, and it's 69-59. Dav Shoros just won't go away, Kaz. No, every time Magic Town stretch the lead out a little bit, you know, they're not really getting past more than 10. Darvish are coming back into it. And it's, it's, it's really good to see. It's what you want to see as well, isn't it? Oh, def definitely, yeah. That seems to be their um, spark. Uh oh, we're 10 points down. Farrow comes up with it. He's got options if he wants him. Managed to fake everybody, but the ball went straight to Derbyshire. Doesn't fall for Brownell. Time back in the ball game. Andre Gale goes inside, gives it back out to Farrow Gordon. Terrell Brown has the ball, pulls up, doesn't go. Darby should come up with it. Hanson Young sets the tempo again. Callum McKenzie slows things down for the arrows. Oh. Kenzie gets it back at the top. He thought about the three. And then decided on the drive. Time comes up with it. I think he was a little surprised there. I think he thought he was going to get a whistle, but didn't. Farrow gives it off to Andre Gale, who goes inside. Uh, Andre Gale. I, I think Andre spends more time in the air than on the ground. Yeah, I mean, Andre's always had hang time. The beautiful thing about Andre is he kind of glides into the key when he gets the ball like that, and he's got those long arms so he can take off a little bit a bit further out than, than, than a lot of people. Terrell Brown. Gets the ball inside to time. Well, it doesn't go. Derbyshire ball. McKenzie drives inside. He loses it though. Uh, he was hit by Farrow Gordon. Referee Bankovic turn around straight away with the number seven held up. For sure. Kamara will take a seat. Xavier McIntosh back in the game. And at the line, Callum McKenzie will shoot two. First one's good. This is the second. So Ben Brown brings the ball up for the Magic. Pass it down low to time. He goes inside. Oh, he trips over a player there. Let's see what the referees say. Oh, they called the foul. Possibly on McKenzie there. 
It's going to be a magic inbound. Ben Brown looks for the option, finds Farrell Gordon. He gets it right back. Ben Brown goes into the key, pulls up. Beautiful. It's a trademark Ben Brown move there. Beautiful pull up jump shot, nothing but net. Seventy sixty one magic. Twenty seconds left on the clock. Cafell looking to get the ball inside, doesn't have any option. Ben Brown has it. Ben Brown gives it back out to Andre, puts up a three, doesn't go. Three seconds left on the clock. Derbyshire gonna have to be quick. Puts up a big shot, doesn't go. So, end of the third quarter, 76 to the Manchester Magic. Derbyshire Arrows still very much in this one. Yeah, just not before in this game as well. So. Yeah, it's like you were saying, they seem to go out by 10 and, and then, then decide, right, okay, and then draw far. it back. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but both teams playing, you know, really good basketball today from the outside as well, really hitting the threes and yeah. also getting inside as well. They're both doing, you know, pretty pretty much everything quite well yeah um, there's not really anything that's not working for them at the moment just to you know some of the, the transition passes um, getting intercepted yeah certainly I'd imagine Pete Paraski was going to want to get this one uh, in the books early on in the fourth quarter but as we said Derbyshire really coming out the magic giving them a great game So oh, leading score for the Magic is Andre Gale with 15 points. He has seven rebounds. Stale Hansen Young, 17 points. And four assists. shooting 38.9 from the three-point line magic 25 percent interesting though the bench points from Manchester 25 as opposed to nine from the arrows obviously Manchester have got a pretty deep bench so we're underway final quarter Farrell Gordon He's after Ben Brown, he puts up a three, doesn't go. Rebound comes in from McKenzie. And McKenzie showing the moves there to Andre, he goes inside. Andre put an arm in and picks up his second foul. Tosh <laughs> kind of looks at Cafell and thought yep yeah, okay I'm going to take the shot Berry lead seven for the magic Andre gives it to time Ben Brown thought about going inside changed his mind and then went inside he gets blocked out there's a whistle Paraskeva just giving a few uh, words to his guys there as Ben Brown goes to the line to shoot two. First one's good. Second one's good, puts Ben Brown on 10 for the night. 72 63 to Magic. Foul, is it to McKenzie? Foul has it again. Puts up a three. Doesn't go anywhere. Andre comes up with it. Cafell carries the ball up. He pulls up for three. 
Because Brownell came up with the rebound there. Ball back in the hands. Callum McKenzie and Xavier. Screen came in from time. Farrow Gordon carries the ball down court for the Magic. He looks for the screen, gets it. No option. Ben Brown with the three. Ball net. Puts Ben Brown on 13 points. Not far off his season average. A tight defence from the Magic there. Another one called on Andre Gale. Yeah, Pete Paraskeva brings him to the bench. Two quick fouls. He goes to the bench on three. Ball back in the hand of the Arrows. Bow hangs. Doesn't go. Derby should get the rebound. Joseph Bow will shoot two. This one's good. That is the second. So, foul all at wall. Slows things down for the magic. Trevor Samuel back in the ball game. Lance Caffell once again, who drives inside, loses the ball. Oh, another magic turn over there. We're back to a 10 point ball game. This is where Derbyshire usually uh, seems to react in a nearly spectacular put back there from Xavier, but he doesn't go. Ben Brown wiggles inside. Oh, he's blocked out. Trevor Samuel with the ball. He's going to go inside. He hangs, drops in. Seventy-seven, sixty-five, magic. Oh, a nice move there. George Brownell used the glass with two points. Ben Brown pulls up, doesn't go. Mackenzie skips down the court, slows things down. Trevor Samuel not taking his eye off him. Bow goes inside, kicks it out. Xavier. Oh, he went in for the dunk. Hit the back of the rim, though. Xavier has it again. He's showing all the moves to Ben Brown. Good job on defence from Ben Brown. Shot doesn't go. Ben Brown in transition. Kicks it off. Trevor Samuel hangs. Easy bucket. Substitution coming in for Derbyshire. So Dale Hanson Young's going to re enter the ball game. So the Magic, Martin Malik's going to come back in. Fell all at wall, go to the bench. So Derbyshire inbound. Hanson Young. Bow goes in hard and he draws the foul. He'll go to the shot. He'll go to the foul line for the bonus shot. So just three games left in the league for the Magic. They've got Myers go next weekend and double header to finish off the, the season. Yeah. Most big rival with Myers Co. Joseph Bow gets the shot to drop. Malik brings the ball up, gives it to Samuel. Samuel dishes off to Ben Brown. Ben Brown from three, yes! And as quickly as that, the Magic stretch out to a 14-point lead. Two real quick buckets there from the Magic. 
Puts Ben Brown on 15 points for the night. Five and a half minutes left in this one. 84, 70 to the Magic. Manchester's remaining games away to Myersco. Sunday the 13th. And we're back here on the 19th where Team Birmingham Elite will be in town. And then last regular season game is the night after. Northamptonshire Titans. So a tough run in for the Magic. I'm going to want to let that 16-2 and two record go. Of course. Well, part of the mission, back to D1. So, back on the floor. Derbyshire Arrows bring the ball up. Oh. Doesn't go. Quick ball down to time. He'll lay the ball in. Arrows stripped from Malik. He dives on the ball. Ball still on the floor. Ben Brown comes up with it. Farrow. Oh, nice dish off. Intercepted, though. And a nice lay in there. Callum McKenzie comes up with a bucket. 86-72, 440 left in this game. Trevor Samuel spots up. Shot doesn't go. Time tidies it up, though. Gives it back out to Farrow. Matty Mallet puts up a three. Doesn't go. Time once again with the rebound. This is off to Trevor Samuel. Trevor looked a bit shocked there. Like yeah, it's <laughs> like, whoa, thank, thank, thanks, Time. Appreciate you. Xavier walks the ball up court. Gives it off to Sadell Hansen Young. Matty Malik all over him. Nearly comes up with the steal. Not giving him an inch, though. Kenzie, guarded by Farrell Gordon. Oh, it's a shot clock violation. There's that magic defense. So, ball in the hands of Ben Brown. Matty Malik goes inside hard. Doesn't drop. Xavier, nice pass. Farrell Gordon got in the way, though. I don't know if Xavier McIntosh thought there was less time in the shot clock, but he kind of spun into the three-pointer. Timeout called by Derbyshire. 88-72. Well, I mean, the swing in this game, as quick as, it, as quick as the Magic have actually drawn it out a little bit in terms of the scoreline, Derbyshire have been coming right back into it. Still 3.38 left in this ball game. Adam, who's been on uh, Below the Rim this week that we can catch up on? Well, the Below the Rim this week, me and Pablo went out. We were on our own this week, I think. Josh Beck got stuck in London <laughs> picking his wife up from work. We also have a regular in the name of Josh Wiltshire who joins us every week. He's uh, He's got some exams on at the moment. So, yeah, me and Pabs were uh, singing just the two of us to one another. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in Focus Hoops world? Uh, we had a, a bit of a roundup a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we'll be having another one in another couple of weeks. Um, I'm hoping to get a few interviews out now. We've got Kat Hume from the Anglia Ruskin team in D1. Um, oh, and that should be dropping soon. Very cool. Yeah, check out Focus Hoops on all social media. 
where you get loads and loads of information about the women's game. Long ball. Oh, Xavier was going to come up with a big alley oop then. Didn't quite go. Hanson Young has the ball. Xavier, shot no good. Farrow with the rebound. Carries the ball down court. Martin Malik attacks the basket. Runs into a wall. Farrow has it back. Oh, nice shot. Nice pass in there to Trevor Samuel. Time. Takes it to 92-74. Magic just really pulling away now in this fourth quarter. Just really stepping up the intensity and uh, looking like they've got a pretty, a pretty comfortable lead at the moment. Yeah, I think they want to put this one away now. Well, a big three-point there from Derbyshire. Colin McKenzie drops the tray. Trevor Samuel gives it off to Ben Brown. Time goes inside, pulls up again. Doesn't go, but Matty Mallet was there waiting for it. Shot doesn't fall for him. Farrell for three. No good. McKenzie with the rebound. Comes streaking down the court. Is he going to go all the way inside? He is. Oh, Ben Brown. Thought he had the block, but he drew the contact. So with 151 left in the ball game, up 92-77. Colin McKenzie at the line. This one's good. Second one's good. It's a 13 point game with 148 left in the game. Martin Mallet brings the ball up. Gives it to Trevor Samuel. Mallet gets it back at the top of the three point line. Gets the screen. Goes inside. Kicks it back out to Farrow. Good passing from the Magic again. Trevor goes inside, but he's blocked. Kenzie goes one on one with Ben Brown. Doesn't drop. Deep three points, no good. I think there's a foul in the air there. It's going to be a magic ball. Ben Brown. Gives it off to Farrell Gordon. Matty Malik's wide open. He puts up the three. Doesn't go, but Mo Cher goes there to tidy up. Spin move. Kicks it off to Trevor Samuel. Puts up a three himself. Oh, a little twine from Trevor Samuel. Once again, Trevor Samuel quietly going about his business, but doing the important things. Nice spin move inside. Blocked by Malik. Yeah, travel called. Matty Malik's face was a picture there. He's like, I didn't foul him. And then the travel was called. Does anybody ever foul? No, there's never been a foul in the game ever by anyone. He's no good. Ben Brown comes up with the rebound. Magic kicking them down, or are they? Ben Brown. Trevor Samuel, nice passing around the perimeter. 17 seconds left. Matty Mallet drives inside, dishes off. Oh, Mo Shergo. Got a second chance, though. And I think that one's in the books. 10 seconds left. 96 81 to the Magic. And they're just going to walk the clock down. So the Magic got there in the end cast. Certainly a good performance from the Derbyshire Arrows. Anytime the ball game came to around 10 points, they were coming back into it throughout the game. 
And then it's just in that final quarter that the Magic managed to uh, kind of put this one away. But a good performance from both teams. But uh, Magic continue their run, puts them at 17-2. and two. And their mission to get back to D1 very much still live and kicking. Yeah, a bit of a slow start from the Magic. Again, something that we've not been really that used to seeing this season. Um, but credit to them, they came back into it. Every time they extended the lead, Derbyshire were just chipping away and chipping away and coming back in. Like you say, until the fourth quarter, uh, the Magic just managed to pull away a little bit. But yeah, really great performance from Derbyshire. A team with a lot of super strong players as well, like Xavier McIntosh as well. What a, what a guy. Yeah, Xavier had a good game there. Enjoyed watching him a lot. You know, the Magic are on a mission. Their mission is get to D1. Finish top, get to D1. And they're, they're looking on track for it. Yeah. Well, we'll be here for the final two games back to back in a couple of weeks' time here at the Manchester Basketball Centre. We hope you'll join us. We'll be here bringing you all the excitement there. I mean, hey, it could come down to those games, Kaz. It could be an exciting uh, last couple of games here at Wally Range. Yeah, not ones to miss. Get down to Manchester Basketball Centre. We've got the bleachers out. You know, yeah, make for it sure. Perfect. For sure. Come to the uh, Mystics first, then straight over here. You get your full of Manchester basketball. Experience what life's like for us, you know, running between two basketball centres on a Saturday. Most definitely. Well, we want to thank you for joining us today. It's a win for the Magic, 96-81. And uh, we hope you have a great rest of the weekend.